Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. For those who watch me regularly, um, you know that uh, I use this uh, little um, analogy here, or at least uh, I try to explain why certain things uh, we find in other uh, articles that are not, not that are not related to the subject of an article that is supposed to uh, discuss a certain kind of, kind of subject. What I'm talking about. Let's say I have an article here. The article comes from Ukraine and they talk about the Russian uh, offensive or advances in Bakhmut. And they say, no, nothing, they're pushed back, uh, they're repelled, that's the word, repelled, and a little bit of scaffold, and that's all the information. You say, what the hell is that? I didn't, I didn't learn anything about what's going on over there. I know it's something is going on because you mention it and you mention they say it's a hot spot. But you tell me like, mm, really, nobody's winning. But then you uh, read another article that's not really related, related to the, you know, the military activities in Bakhmut, for instance, because that's what I'm going to discuss here. And in that uh, article coming again from Ukrainian sources, sometimes from the same media outlet, same name, uh, Ukraine Forum, Ukraine Forum, or uh, New Voice of Ukraine, or uh, all this, uh, you know, Ukrainska Pravda, and so on. So, and then the other article tells you the situation there, actually. But you have to figure it out, you have to memorize. So you read, oh, they didn't say anything then. And then when they, uh, after a few days, they tell you in this article, they reveal actually what the situation is actually over there. This is another example. In Bakhmut, nothing happened. The Russians are attacking, the Ukrainians are pushing them back, smacking them. The Ru Russians are losing a lot of uh, personnel. They're not doing much. This is what the guys said, uh, Ukrainians, including Zelensky, who came over there, supposedly, and he was like, I'm going to give you this, I'm going to give you this medal, 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 let's go. It's only rock and roll. Now, we have this article that tells us that actually it's a, uh, how should I put it, uh, general evacuation or evacuation of Bakhmut. So that means the population gets a fuck out. Why? And do you think it's because the New Year's coming? Is that what it, what it is? No, it's because someone else is coming and you can hear their boots and their tanks rolling. Who might that be? I think it's the Russians, what do you think? So let me uh, use this article to, uh, I think, make a point. This article comes from Ukraine Forum and it's from today, 29th of December, 2022. 90% of residents evacuated from Bakhmut, mayor says. Got it? 90%, why? You can say, well, the Russians bombarded like crazy and there's no way to stay and so on. Could be. Or could be the other guys are just going to come and uh, they're going to probably take care of you in, right? in a certain negative way. Now, almost 90% of residents of the Bakhmut community in the Donetsk region or more than 70,000 people, now that's a tragedy, now that's a tragedy, have evacuated the area whereas 8,700 people continue to live under shelling. Bakhmut mayor, mayor Oleksiy Reva said in a post on Facebook Ukraine Forum reports, and I'm quoting, despite the difficult security situation, the evacuation of residents from Bakhmut continues. Almost 90% of the residents of the Bakhmut community, which is more than 70,000 people, have already moved to safer regions or temporarily left the territory of Ukraine. Some 8,700 residents of Bakhmut remain in the community and live under constant shelling, the mayor wrote. Are they Russians? <laughs> uh, are they uh, the collaborators? Are they crazy? Or, uh, anyway, he once again called on people to evacuate and recalled that according to the government coordination headquarters, mandatory evacuation will be redirected from the Tern Ternopil region to Ter Ternopil region to the Cherkasy region from January 6th. Sex, sex. That's what you got in your head, seems like January 2nd. <laughs> now, there, people will be accommodated in municipal facilities and provided with humanitarian aid by from our taxes. I might add that. That's for sure. Well, it's okay. Poor guys. But I, I hate paying for something that could be stopped uh, talking with some weasels. And those guys are removed. We pay, some people give uh, medals and they are the guys in charge, and we uh, glorify those, supposedly. Now, I'm not glorifying the 
leadership of those weasels any country. They don't deserve it. I mean, they have to prove that they deserve. And uh, I have eyes, ears, and a brain to assess what's going on. Uh, all right. So it is very difficult to live for far from home, but there is no safe place in Bakhmut today, Reva said. Russian have been constantly shelling Bakhmut and its infrastructure, which has already been partially or completely destroyed by more than 60%. Stop the war. Discuss with the crazies. Oh, we don't negotiate with the terrorists. We only uh, provide the contras with armament. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> and we talk with the Taliban and uh, I, uh, ISIS and so on. We don't uh, negotiate with terrorists. Well, this is what bothers me. It bothers me that we have people like this and people who died. And that town, that city, was not built overnight. There's generations that build that. Remember, they have their loved ones buried over there in the cemeteries. They have memories. They have weddings. They had, you know, loved ones that uh, could not come with them and so on. And this is just a, it's just a tragedy. And it hurts me to feel, and I feel very passionate about uh, this uh, think knowing that some people show up in in front of cameras with people who are hailing them as this and that and they uh, partially are uh, you know have guilt in this are part of all this um, yeah we can point fingers okay at Putin and Lavrov and show you but uh, the list should not stop over there because if you think that that's the only the only um, how should I put the party guilty of all this and they can stop it and so on for them is like this if we stop we die this is what is asked for, uh, from us to give up and let you enslave us that's why they see it and these guys know that and they continue and these guys attack these guys they kill one another and the other guys who are the remember the the guy in the circus the animal tamer, the tiger, trainer, tamer, how you want to call it. He has two, 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 two things usually on his end, right? He's got the long pole, right? And he's got the uh, long whip. And that's how he tames and he aggravates the tigers or the lions and that's how he trains them. And uh, you can see the tiger or the lion fighting with the whip or with the pole, grabbing with the teeth and so on, without knowing that actually the guy guilty and who's the perpetrator here is right there sometimes you know they figure it out and they kill the guy but most of the time they just fight with a whip and with a long pole so that's what these guys are doing from far away and those are you know who right zimbabwe from across the atlantic this uh, defensive alliance and uh, big big they call them elites i would say uh, not only elites but elites uh, probably by definition are wealthy and wealthy with uh, a lot of economic and financial power. And it's a lot of interest in all this. And uh, unfortunately for them, it seems like a loss of human lives and uh, is just a, a number. Uh, it's not, uh, they don't look at uh, it like probably you or I and uh, say, look at these guys. Look how many they die. Look, 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 look what, what tragedy is, uh, is taking place there. And, um, some people count their money, some people count their family members who are killed or injured and uh, count their little money that they still have to survive under these conditions created by... Th Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.